Today I'm showing you the best OBS settings for recording 1080p 60fps. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it and while you're doing it, please go and leave a like as well. It gets this video to more people. So it's a pretty simple video. I'm showing you the best settings in OBS. Make sure you watch the whole video as well because throughout the video I'm showing you different settings as well. So I hope you do find this video useful and let's jump straight into this. So I am now on my computer and let's get into the best OBS recording settings. So this is for my PC, um, but hopefully it will work for your PC as well. Throughout the video I'll be explaining um, where you could change this if you have a lower end PC or where you can increase it if you've got a higher end PC. Um, that will be mentioned in this video. So let's jump straight into this. So of course the first thing you want to do is simply come down here and click on settings. As you can see, we're now in general. So here you can, it's basically more personal preferences about how OBS runs, um, but yes, yeah, up to you. So I have the theme on the dark theme um, and the rest of it is all up to you really. Then we're gonna come down here and we've got stream. So this all is gonna be about if you wanna stream, but this is a recording video, so I'm not covering that in today's video. Then and the next one is output. Now, as you can see, we're already on streaming. So as you can see, we're now in the output section. So the first you want to do is make sure output mode is set to advanced. Otherwise, it's going to be on simple and you just can't change the important settings. And then make sure you come along to recording and make sure output mode is still on advanced because we're not streaming. So then, as you can see, make sure your type is on standard. Uh, I just have it on that. And by the way, this is all grayed out because I'm currently recording. And then for your recording format, I just go for MP4, um, just because it's really, really rec like sort of recognized on softwares and when uploading it. So yeah, I just find MP4 the easiest to work with, with editing and stuff like that. And then for your encoder, I really do recommend using the NVIDIA NVEC. However, not every PC has this, um, and otherwise just use the X264. Um, but the NVIDIA NVEC is just a lot more efficient, so if you have the option for it, 100% go for that. For rescale output, I personally don't use this here, it's not really needed because you can do it in a later setting and it just seems to um, increase the efficiency for me. Custom muxer settings, I don't use this, um, but you can test that if you would like. For rate control, now this means custom bitrate, so BR means bitrate. I really recommend doing constant bitrate because it means it stays flat. If you say use variable, it's going to be peaking, it means the quality could be changing throughout your recording. So yeah, I recommend uh, constant bitrate. So for bitrate, I use 15,000, but this is going to depend on your PC. If 15,000 is too laggy for you, then of course turn it down. If you think you can increase it, then increase it. But I think after 15,000, you won't notice much of a difference. So I personally use 15,000. The key frame interval, I just use two. However, the default is zero. It's very similar um, and zero is probably fine to be fair. So for preset, this is sort of the spectrum between quality and performance. So I personally just use quality um, because basically if the lower this the lower you do it down, it means it will speed it up. But I won't still I still want quite a crisp look, um, and I don't I don't mind it using a bit more um, computer power as a result of that. But that is going to once again depend on your computer. And for profile, once again, uh, high just means I think it means sort of the most efficient. And if you the more you lower it, the more intense it's going to become. So if you've got more of a lower end PC, then high works well. However, if you want to improve the quality, then I guess you could go and uh, make it main or baseline then I have look ahead and psycho visual tuning on um, once again it's up to you and this is just zero and two I'm not really sure what these two do but yeah I personally find these settings absolutely fine then once again go and click apply and make sure you save it and let's go into the next step then we've got the audio tab down here and uh, you can go and set your audio devices so I have my mic here um, but you can choose whatever mics you have and if you want desktop audio or not then come down to video now here is where you can go and actually rescale your output. Now the base canvas is what's actually shown here, so that doesn't really matter. You can add that lower. Um, I just haven't changed it. The output scale resolution is gonna be the scale resolution which is actually saved. So I have mine on 1080p, and then I have mine on 60 FPS. Now the filter, you can lower this to save quality, but the, the, lower, the more you lower it, um, it's gonna reduce the quality, but it does reduce the CPU usage if you lower it. So if you've got a slower PC, you could try lowering it and see if that helps at all, but it does downgrade the quality quite a lot. So once again, it's another game of, you know, testing what works best on your PC or Mac. So then we can go down to hotkeys and uh, you can go and set something up, say to start recording. So here we have start recording. You click on it and then you can go and select the button for it to start recording when you press that button. Um, so make sure it's like a, a non-common button because if it's like T or something and you're typing T, then it's going to stop um, recording whenever you press the, the button T. So yeah, just consider that. Then come down to advanced. Now here we start at general. So process priority. So this is basically where 
if you have your issues with OBS not being given enough power, you can go and increase it. So you could increase it, say, high, but then all your PC's um, CPU process processing power is going to be given to OBS which may affect your performance of your PC so I would find normal works fine but if you do maybe have a bit of a lower spec PC try and increase it but like I said if you're playing a game it's going to make your game slower because OBS is taking up more of the power. For video I have the Direct 3D 11 renderer and the colour format is NV12. You can also use RGB as well I'm pretty sure um, but NV12 works for streaming as well so if you're streaming as well um, in OBS then I find that works really well. I've got colour space at 709 and colour range is partial. Uh, I don't think I've changed those before. File formatting I just have video and uh, you can, this is optional here, you can overwrite if the, the file already exists but I like using old video sometimes so I keep it like that. And uh, yeah, that's sort of the main things and then the rest is sort of about streaming. So yeah, that is the main settings. Then press apply and okay. And then it will be saved and you're ready to recording. Hit start recording, but mine's currently recording. So yeah, if you found this useful, please go and subscribe down below. I really do appreciate it and leave a like as well. Um, these are just the best settings I've found as well. And um, yeah, I hope you do find this video useful and you can uh, record some gameplay or videos, whatever you'd like to do. I'll catch you in the next one. Have an awesome day. Peace.